you know, I was sitting down earlier and just thinking about everything that I've been through. And I just, I can't help but break down. Seeing all the fucked up shit that I went through. All the fucking hell that I dealt with. And I'm not just talking about on here. I'm talking about in life. A lot of people don't realize that I didn't get to have that much of a normal childhood. Despite what that piece of shit Gordon tells you guys, or what he told y'all, he don't really know. At eight years old, I had to help my mom take care of my grandparents, who were both deaf. Eight years old. A little kid. Supposed to be living in his life. Being a kid, doing normal kid shit. While all my friends were out at each other's houses and doing this and doing that. I was taking care of my grandparents. I was helping my mom take care of my grandparents. At eight years old, helping my family take care of my grandparents. And yeah, obviously I went through, you know, the normal stuff like Cub Scouts and all that shit. But too. I had instilled in me hard ass work. While all my friends were out, you know, having fun at each other's houses at birthday parties. You know what my birthday party was? Me and one of my childhood best friends. And my mom and family, and that's it. Just me, my mom, and my two grandparents, and my best friend, Corey, who I grew up with. That was it. Just me and them. I don't come from a rich background. I come from a hard-working, lower-class family. And let me tell you right now, man. When I decided to start doing this whole journey back in 2009, I knew I was going to get haters. But what I did not know that I was going to get are sick fucks like Music Biz Marty. And for all y'all trolls that enjoy what he does and enjoy what other people I can do, what do you gain from what you do? What do you gain from being evil? What do you gain from being a sick human being? You know... I went my whole YouTube career doing good for myself.
But then, of course, in comes Marty. Being the psycho that he is. Ruining my life. You know, a lot of y'all don't understand the mental, emotional, and physical toll of what you do takes on our bodies. You don't know what it does to us. You don't know what it does to our minds, our bodies. How we're tired all the motherfucking time. Always depressed, always angry, always upset. Wondering when the next day is gonna be that if 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 today's gonna be the fucking day that it finally ends. Is today gonna be the day that I finally fucking is over and I can go back to a normal fucking life? The life that I used to have? Where I was happy? Didn't have to worry about being scared? Didn't have to worry about looking over my shoulder? Didn't have to worry about looking outside the door every five seconds to make sure our shit is still here? Didn't have to worry about When's the next call to our house going to be? When are the cops going to show up again? When's the next time I'm going to get arrested or not? When's the next person, to, when's the next dude going to fucking shoot at me through my fucking window? Or when's the next person going to try to kill me? I don't understand. How y'all can be so fucking evil. You know, my whole life I was raised and taught to put good in this world. What good comes out of being an evil sick fuck? Attacking people till they kill themselves. Bully and people to the point to where they're depressed and suffer from it every day. Attacking someone until their psyche mentally fucking breaks. Turning everybody that they love against them. So you can get a view and a click. And maybe a like. Like, what's the point in being fucking evil? I thought we were raised better as humans than this, man. I thought humans were raised better than this shit. Now, if your mom and daddy treated you that way, and they made you that way, I'm sorry you went through that. I'm sorry you went through that shit. If your parents were absent or whatever, I'm sorry you went through that. But that is no fucking reason. That is no fucking reason to ruin someone else's life just because your life is going to shit. If your life is going to shit, you need to get off your ass and you need to do something about it. You need to do something to change that shit. Instead of sitting there and taking it all out on some random person that you don't fucking know on the internet. I'm tired of watching good people like Inquisitor get killed because of other people's actions. And I know I bring Inquisitor up a lot, but he's a prime fucking example of why social media needs to change. He's a prime example of that. This man was a good dude. And I mean a real good fucking dude. Wanted nothing but the best for everyone. Wanted to spread love and positivity and kindness and caring.
was an all-around, one of the nicest people ever. But then what happened? Somebody got the hair up their fucking ass to push him to suicide, and he ended up doing it. This kind of shit is why I say social media needs to change. What y'all trolls call free of speech is actually called fucking bullying, dude. And what y'all motherfuckers call fair use is not fair use. It's actually copyright infringement. You do all this because you don't have any fucking skills, bro. You don't have any skills as content creators. So what do you do? You bully people. Steal their content that they work hard on. And then try to sit there and be like, Oh, this is what it is. No the fucking ain't, motherfuckers. It ain't that. You know, too many times I've sat here and reflected on a lot of bad shit that went down in my life, on social media, everywhere. And I'm going to say this. For all y'all that sit there and say, like, oh, well, you're a pedo. You did this. You did that. Well, maybe a bitch is like Kate didn't go around doing what they do for fucking views. Because they want to be desperate. Shit like that wouldn't happen. I just don't understand how y'all can be okay with Ronan. I, I, I just, I don't get it. Like, how can you be okay? How can you live with yourself? How do you sleep at night knowing that you ruined someone's life? For a view, a click. A few seconds of watch time. Also, you can get a fucking view and a little bit of money on your fucking shitty content like I don't get it dude I just don't fucking get it You know, a lot of y'all out here always ask me, like, hey, dude, are you okay? You okay? I'm going to be honest. No, I'm not okay. I'm tired. I'm not okay because I am tired of watching this kind of shit go down. I'm tired of people like Music Biz Marty and N-Word Boy and William Gordy Hall and all these other people. I'm tired of watching them being allowed to get away with this shit. I mean, what happened to respect? What happened to respect your fellow man? Love your fellow man. Love thy neighbor. What happened to never judge no book by its cover? What happened to leaving a man the fuck alone and letting him do his fucking job? What happened to fucking human decency in this fucking world? 
Well, what happened? All of a sudden, nobody has human decency anymore? What, d does human decency not fucking exist? And you know the thing that gets me? For all y'all trolls. Y'all sit there and you attack people for no fucking reason. And you keep doing it and doing it and doing it. But then eventually you get one motherfucker that fights back. And then what gets me is you push that dude so fucking far and then that dude finally snaps and then y'all have the fucking balls to turn around and call that person a bully nah motherfucker you the bully you're the motherfucker that's stupid enough to poke the goddamn bear in the first place That motherfucker ain't done shit to you. You did something to them. So don't be sitting there getting mad when you bully someone and then they fire back. Because they ain't gonna take your shit. Y'all need to stop that shit, man. For real. Y'all need to stop that fucking shit. Y'all sit there and you bully people and then they eventually snap and fight back. And then you have the balls to sit there and say, oh, they're the bad guy. Nah, motherfucker, you the bad guy. You push that person to the point of snapping. You're the one at fault, not them. And then y'all trying to be like, oh, but this, oh, and that, man, fuck you. Alright, shut the fuck up. I am sick and tired of watching good people get bullied. Did you know that one of the top three leading causes of suicide in teens and young adults is cyberbullying? And you want to know why it's one of the top three? Because assholes like Marty and all these fucking trolls, they hide behind these screens so they don't get caught. Well, I think maybe it's time we started fucking normalizing shit like fighting back against this shit I think it's time we started normalizing no trolling I think it's time we normalize that trolling needs to be illegal and the reason I say that look how many people it hurts Look at the causes of it. Look what it fucking does. And you know, like I said, you know, I, I get it, you know. I'm just some random dude that happens to have a name to him. I get it. But at the end of the day, I'm just a normal fucking dude. I'm just a regular dude trying to make a living. That's it. That's all I'm trying to do. Is make an honest living for my family. That's all I'm trying to do, man. And what is so wrong about me putting out content that I enjoy? Whether it's vocal covers, whether it's gameplay. It shouldn't fucking matter what I put out. Y'all don't need to be coming in. And ruining shit for everybody else, man.
I just don't get it. So many people lose their fucking lives every day because of cyberbullying. Every day I see so many good content creators ending their lives, ending their careers because people want to scare them for a click and a view. This kind of shit that goes on is not normal. It's really not. The kind of behavior that y'all trolls exhibit. It's not normal. And it's not okay. Y'all seriously need to get a grip. Get a fucking life. And do something with it. Because the way. What y'all do is not normal. It's not cute. It's not funny. It's not anything but nasty. Disgusting and destructive. And evil as fuck. And I'm tired of seeing it. Now, if you're one of the many supporters on here that has been showing love to my videos, and if you do agree with this, man, first off, I want to say thank you, man. And I love you guys to death. You guys are awesome. You guys are amazing. But if you guys do agree with this, man, please share this around. Like I said, you guys are awesome. And if we can share this around and get this out there, man, we need to get this out there because this change needs to be made. Cyberbullying, trolling, it should all be made illegal. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, if you do agree with this, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next video later on today. And, uh, also, fuck the trolls. Hashtag end trolling. Hashtag make trolling illegal. And hashtag fuck suicide. And hashtag Fuck bullying and hashtag rest in peace inquisitor. Peace.